say hi. 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 So me and Bella have got the house to ourselves. And what are we doing? What are you doing? We are going to go to Lowe's and get some wood to show you my lay flat hack. Are we excited? Yes. So we are going to get gas and then we are going to go to the recycling center and then we're going to get groceries and then we're going to go to Lowe's. Recycling center is closed. Boo. Alright. What are you having tonight? We are gonna have meatballs and sauce and some broccoli. Mm, you want popsicles? We're not having popsicles for dinner. So the recycling center was closed. Um so we because um Lowe's is just past the recycling center. We're gonna do Lowe's first, and then groceries, and then gas. So. What a gas. What? What a gas. Yeah, we're gonna get gas. What a gas. I'm just really bummed because I still have all of this cardboard and plastic and glass Did in my I car. Come at you? Yes, you're coming with me. Um, I have, still have all this like plastic and cardboard and glass in my car and. Like, where are my groceries gonna go now? Shopping. Yeah, we're gonna go to Lowe's and then we're going grocery shopping. This is Lowe's. This is Lowe's. They have bricks in it. Say that again? They have bricks in it. No, they don't have breakfast in it. And they have fruit in it. No, we have to get we have to get some wood. And just like normal, a princess parking spot opened up just as I pull in. <laughs> this happens to me so often where I come to go do something and a parking spot right up in front opens up. It annoys Ryan so much. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because I always get a really good parking spot. that I was gonna have to get a piece of plywood cut, but I'm here and I'm finding that they already have it cut in some of the different dimensions that I need. So it's gonna work really well. I'm just gonna grab one of these longer pieces because I need it cut um, two by three for the project that I need. So I'm just gonna grab one of these pre-cut pieces and it's gonna make this project go so much, so much simpler. going to continue with this lay flat. So first of all, the reason I'm doing this lay flat is because my kitchen in this house is very dark. 
uh, we're renting this house it's not something that I can change so they have dark countertops dark wood and the kitchen is like this teal green color so it's not like I have these pretty surfaces to be able to shoot these lay flats that I want to photograph um, so I went on Amazon and I got this marble contact paper it's beautiful um, and then it has these grid lines in the contact paper so um, we got our contact paper or our contact paper we got our um, piece of plywood from Lowe's I also have my handy dandy exacto kit and then I got this wallpaper smoothing tool from Amazon so we are um, gonna line it up with the edge of the wood and then just unroll it and go all the way down so I'm gonna flip the camera angle and give you guys a top-down view of the process so the first thing you want to do is roll out the contact paper with the grid lines up and measure it to the project that you are adhering it to. I used my X-Acto knife to cut on the grid line. So I turn the contact paper over and peel off the liner from the top and then I align the contact paper to the long edge of my project. After adhering to the long side, I went ahead and adhered to the top and then started smoothing out with that tool. I found a big imperfection in the corner, so I went ahead and lifted that up, smoothed it back down, and then I rolled the contact paper back up to expose that bottom liner. And this is the key, because that bottom liner becomes your guide in how you adhere the contact paper to the wood. So you pull that bottom liner and that exposes the contact paper to the wood and then you just move very slowly and surely and using that wallpaper tool to smooth out the imperfections. piece of contact paper from Amazon. I adhered it to the long side and again rolled it up and then just started pulling that liner to have the contact paper adhere to the wood. I'll be very honest with you in saying that this contact paper adhered to the wood a lot easier and I think it was due to that wood grain. It wasn't as hard to make sure that all the imperfections were out because of the smoothness of the marble. So again, I just pulled that bottom liner went slowly but surely, probably pulled about three to four inches at a time and then just moved out with that wallpaper tool. here was hang the wood over the edge of the table and I took my exacto knife and just cut away any pieces that were hanging over the edge of the wood on both sides. All right so here we go. Finished product. So we have the marble on this side and then we have the wood grain on the other side. I think total cost for this whole project was um, probably about $45, including the plywood and then both pieces of contact paper. Thanks for joining me on another one of my videos. I hope that you found this lay flat hack useful or helpful. If you did, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. I'd love for you to become part of my YouTube family. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, everything that I used in the video is going to be in that about section down below. Have a great day.
Thanks so much for joining me in another one of my videos. I hope that you found this lay flack, lay flack. Thanks for joining me in another one of my videos. If you found this lay flat hack useful, useful, if you did. Thanks for joining me in another one of my videos. I hope that you found this lay flat hack, lay flat hack. Mm -hmm.